My name is Kat Kibben, and today I want to take you inside the mind of a hiring manager to see what they're really looking for on a resume. And so my experience with this is that every day I'm sitting down with recruiters and hiring managers to teach them how to write a job posting. That translates really well into understanding what they're looking for because they're always talking about some of these really common characteristics. And so I asked ChatGPT to come up with a director level resume for us to review so we could just see a general sample of what most people's resumes look like once they're to the mid or senior level of their career. And so as I'm looking at a resume, I, the first thing I'm really trying to look for is industry specific experience. So if you've worked at one of my competitors, if you've worked with the exact problems I'm trying to solve, you have an advantage when it comes to my review of that resume because instantly I'm thinking you already know a lot and I won't have to consistently update you or catch you up about what's special about our industry as opposed to the way everyone else might approach it. But otherwise, I'll be really honest, you're not going to catch me reading a whole summary. Most of them just sound like a bunch of buzzword bingo. So unless you're going to say something unique, interesting, or convincing, I probably wouldn't even include that. I'd actually include the industry information somewhere in this area where you have the company name. Unless it's a really recognizable global brand like Apple, Google, I think you need to list the background here, that industry of where you're working. The next thing I'm looking for is the scope and scale of the work. And I really like this framework because it's holding places for you to add the numbers. I need to make sure you can do the work at the scale that I need to, not just do the work. So make sure that your resume, specifically in that work experience, describes the work with quantification, meaning how much or how many. Watch out for these all these buzzwords. Get really specific so there's a lot of clarity around what you're looking for. The next thing I'm going to look at is kind of hold that job posting up next to this. The things that I've described, those everyday requirements or the mandatory work, the everyday activities, excuse me, I'm going to look through here to make sure there's a match for that activity. If you held a parallel job at the last company, was that job a lot like the one you're about to take or was it completely different? Because we know that all job titles don't align to the exact output. Next, I got to say it, we're going to be looking at the tenure of your roles. If you've had a lot of jobs over a short period of time, that might be a red flag to a hiring manager. If there's a significant amount of change, especially the kind that you couldn't control, I'm talking layoffs, changes in the workforce, however they describe it, you're going to add some kind of description that explains job terminated due to layoffs or something that gives context to anything that might be a red flag up to and including tenure. Finally, we're going down to this skills section. I'm going to tell you, I really think you should just incorporate these words into what you did instead of having the list of skills, unless they are asking you to provide a list of skills. Probably going to skip that, but I am looking for the certifications and professional affiliations because that tells me about your learning aptitude. If I can figure out all of that, that's what the hiring manager needs to know to push you forward to the next level. So when you're going over your resume and you're making edits, and you're really thinking about the inside the mind of the manager, think about how we make a match. We make matches based on likeness, similarity, and comparison, right? And so you want to make all of those things very, very clear based on the intel you have in your resume. All right. If you're looking for a job in recruiting, you should go ahead and hit that subscribe button because we're always teaching folks not just how to get into the minds of hiring managers, but how to find great talent. We'll see you next time.